The book that I will talk about is Mixed Signals by Yuri Nisi. Originally, I bought the book because at work, I have to figure out how to motivate people. That was kind of my starting point on why I purchased this book originally. It's actually not that old. I heard the author talking at a podcast. The author was talking about an experiment that was done at daycares. So when you have your children in daycares, you are supposed to pick them up at a certain point in time. At the latest when the daycare closes, there are usually a handful of parents who come a little bit later. What the daycares did in his example, they started to put a fine on it. They said, I don't know what, what the amount was. They said something like 10 euros for 10 minutes or something. What you think would happen the moment you have to pay a fine for picking your child up late at the daycare is that people try not to do that anymore. And now you would expect this to go down to zero. But actually what happened is that the number of parents that picked up their children later increased. So now you're wondering why? In this example, you try to implement something and it had the exact counter effect. Sometimes, we're discussing at work like, oh, this person should get more money or this person should um, get more responsibility or this person should get a company car. And the question is, is this the right incentive? Is this what we should do to motivate people? So I tried to figure these things out and that's why I bought the book. And the book did not disappoint. The style how the book is written is that um, he always shows this is the example this is what we're going to do this is our test group this is our um, original group and this is what we're going to compare and now we're changing this factor and then you always have the time in these examples to think to to kind of go by yourself and think about what do i think will happen in this situation and then of course at the end he gives you the solution and he told you what happened and then he goes ahead and explains why this book is so interesting i loved how it's written because it's kind of interactive my favorite point was right at the beginning and this is something i have implemented for my kids because i realized it very early if i tell my kids to do something and i do the opposite like my words they don't have any effect when i tell my kids you have to take off your shoes when you come into the apartment and I'm not doing that by myself, then guess what? They're not going to do it either. It's the same for a work environment. If you are the boss of 10 people and you're coming late to work every single day and you're telling them, no, you have to be on time and you're not, it will just not work. Of course they will be late because you are too. So one thing the author talks about the book is actually something that I, now that I read it, it makes a lot of sense, but I have not considered it before. And it is the whole section or the whole topic about self signaling. In this test, the people went to a restaurant and they were free to pay whatever they want. Think about what people would do. When would they put most of the money in the envelope? This is the portion where he explained the self signaling. And I thought that is really interesting, even though nobody else knows how good you are if you paid a lot in this restaurant or not it still matters to you it makes so much sense the book really is full of examples it would be a 30 minutes video if i would go through every single one of them another one that i want to bring up is the now versus later part you ask people do you want a little bit now or a lot later a lot of people would say oh ah. I take whatever I can have now. And he does such a good job explaining it with examples. And you find yourself in those examples. It gives you the capability to predict what people and also what yourself would do in certain situations. So why does this all matter? I honestly bought it for work. This is a book that I thought I should read for work because I have to motivate people. Does more money really matter to them? One thing that really hit me hard because I was not expecting it in this book was like the last two or three chapters where the author explained how they put the knowledge about how incentives work towards stories that, um, that go deeply under your skin. He warms it up with a story about a tradition of the Maasai where they kill lions. I mean, it's, it's not that simple. You cannot just go there and say, hey, you gotta stop. It's so deeply rooted in their culture. It has advantages to do that. They carefully looked at what the motivational pieces are in this whole construct, what the tradition and the culture aspect is of that. And then they implemented the incentives they thought would help to 
those Maasai people to stop killing the lions. He also described the process how they are never like 100% on point the first time but with some adjustments they get pretty close and they actually can stop the people. They can replace the tradition with things to stop that. The last story, guys, I really, I mean, I was close to tears, honestly. And I know about the, I know that it exists, but it's so far away for us people in Europe. I mean, when you read the chapter, you're like, Oh God, it's it's such a cruel topic, but go there. Just go there and, and open yourself up to understand why these people are doing this, how they can torture young girls with like dirty knives and scar them for the rest of their lives. As I said, I was so close to tears and I when I knew about this topic before, I could never understand how it got there. But now after reading this chapter, I understand what the motivation behind it is. I'm so impressed and so glad to see someone to put incentives that push the other direction to not do that with young girls. It, it was, I have not, I did not expect this book to go there. I don't know, read the book. It's such a big recommendation to read the book. Go to the last chapter. It's heartbreaking. It shows how much power there is to change things. That is my main takeaway from the book. You have the power to change things. 